Virgo Sun Moon Rising and Venus. This is what we got going on for your evening spread for January 25th, 2021, sweethearts. All right, let's get it, Virgos. Temperance card, the Tower card in reverse, the Page of Cups. You guys could have been dealing with the Sagittarius, Virgo, Gemini, a Libra, Capricorn, a Scorpio, a Cancer, an Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Virgos. All right, let's get it, cutie pies. Coming in with the temperance card here, Virgo. Someone's trying to do something, okay? Maybe there was a breakup that ended up happening between you and this person. Maybe it was with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, where the relations is now not moving, breakup. There's no... Somebody here could have been also being careless, Virgo. There, there's no movement into the relationship anymore, okay? But it's what it's saying here with the temperance card, the magician reverse, the four of cups, the seven of wands, so the two of cups. That must have been like some sort of soulmate, friendship, loving type of relationship. But it's saying here that's a Virgo, Gemini, a Sagittarius who is about to abuse their power, Virgos. They're putting two things together. So I'm going to assume, Virgos, right away, someone here is putting ingredients together and towards something, abusing their power, dark magic here. It's saying with the Four of Cups to the Seven of Wands, stop it. Immediately stop that. You're going to build bad karma for yourself. You don't hurt people that you're supposed to be in a relationship with. You don't hurt somebody that you love. You don't do magic on anybody that you have had a relationship with. You don't do that. That's so that's so bad. That's the worst thing I've ever seen in the cards like this before. Like people actually do magic on the ones that they love or you know what I mean? It's not good. Four of Cups in reverse. Retract your steps, go back. Stop doing what it is you're doing immediately. One for one, it's not going to work. Seven of Wands, it's blocked. The energy is already blocked. People need to understand something. Just because you do something, you don't understand who it is that's protecting them in the spiritual realm. There's ancestors who are very, very powerful, who come from that whole entire line. <laughs> people need to stop doing that. Attacking people that you're, supposed to, you're supposedly love, like loving them, and then if you don't get what it is that you want, you go and hit them with some magic. What? That is so bad. That's the worst thing I've ever seen. <laughs> anyway, fuck my opinion at the end of the day. But I'm seeing it in the cars. Retract your steps. Stop what it is that you're doing. It's not good what you're about to do. Cut it out immediately. Four of cups in reverse. You're lucky that your spirit, your spirits are telling you to stop doing that. You're lucky that you have somebody in the spiritual realm to tell you to don't do it. Seven of Wands, it's not going to work. Also, <clears throat> if this person also knows <laughs> who's doing this to them or gets an idea of who's, they're going to, they'll destroy your whole life because they, they powerful Virgos. Just because you do something to somebody doesn't mean that they don't, they just, you know what I mean? Doesn't mean that they can't go do the same thing to you back. You have to be careful when you start playing with stuff like this. Because it's not up to you on who it is that you're attacking. You can attack anyone that it is that you want, but God sees everything. God sees everything. And you're lucky that in the cards it's telling you right now, retract. Stop what it is that you're doing. Go back. Go back to whatever it was that you're doing before you even thought about doing something like this. Two of Cups. You guys are trying to hurt someone that you're supposed to, supposed to be loving. You're, you're hurting someone that you're supposed to be were in love with. Enough, Virgos. Attacking people like that is unacceptable behavior. That dark, no more attacking people. That's not good energy for you. You building up bad karma for you every single time you do something out of maliciousness, ill wishing, and and malicious intent. That negative stuff. Clean your heart. Immediately clean your heart. You have to clean your heart whoever that belongs to, Virgo, Gemini, Sagittarius energy. There would have been some sort of breakup. This person's not coming back, okay? Not as of right now because there was a breakup, so everything is stagnated. Nothing is moving, you know what I mean? But there is going to be an apology coming in just now. We are in Mercury retrograde, so do expect this person to come back, all right? Aries energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They want to come back. They want to reconcile here with you, Virgos, all right? They are going to be taking that leap of faith to come back towards you. Somebody here is going to be very, very afraid, unknown, scared of the unknown is what I'm picking up. But regardless, there is going to be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, 
who wants to come back, but this person is definitely toxic here, Virgos, Capricorn, Scorpio, Scorpio energy. Maybe there was definitely an ending. <laughs> an ending for sure is what had happened. And now what somebody wants to go do all this because there was an ending. You have to be careful. Sometimes walking away is just fine to do in life. It's okay to walk away from people without having to set give them energy just because they hurt you. Just because somebody hurts you, it doesn't give you the right to go and hurt them back. It doesn't. Be the bigger person. Walk away and keep it moving. When you walk away with a clean heart, you win at the end of the day. And on top of that, this person's coming back to apologize. So go back, stop whatever it is that you're doing, and retract your steps right away. King of Pentacles in reverse, this person might not be... Um, very confident with themselves maybe a little bit insecure and that's why they walked away too yeah and then the person that they're dealing with is somebody who is very aggressive with their communication Gemini Libra Aquarius Taurus Virgo Capricorn Cancer Pisces Scorpio this person is going to come back towards you Virgos I'm telling you Virgos if you guys do this magic you're going to get the worst karma that you, you'll feel the karma and, and karma will prevail it will absolutely prevail the wheel in reverse to the justice card. And you will never get this person back again. Because of the fact that you decide to go and do something so bad, clean your heart immediately, okay? You're going to get karma for it. You will you will get karma for it. And it will be very heavy karma that you're going to end up getting. It will be too much karma. I'm not even playing. The wheel card in reverse to the justice card. There will be an ending with this person. And you will never be able to see this person ever again. Because God knows... How you move just because you don't get something that it is that you want. Be careful when you decide to play with stuff like this. You're going to get karma. Wheel card to the justice card. It's going to be done, over with. There's nothing to wait for. It's over. You guys planted some sort of seeds with this person coming in with the Seven of Pentacles. There's going to be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius who's going to want to come back towards you, Virgos. Maybe this person is, maybe you guys was married to this person or a long-term relationship with them. But it looks like they want to come back towards you. They want to be successful with you here and happy and, and celebrate with you. But there is somebody that's very, very arrogant here coming in with the with the with the clear with the star card in reverse. Okay, someone's definitely keeping an eye on you here, Virgos. Gemini Libra Aquarius. You guys are afraid of this person, Virgos. You guys don't trust this person either. This person is gonna be stalking you outside your home. And they're gonna be stalking you outside your home in the evening time, Virgos. Now we are in winter. So the time goes down and it gets darker much more faster. So it is going to be through dusk time, uh, 6.30, 7.30, 8.30, 9.30, 10.30. 30. I think I said it the last time in my live reading. So it is going to be most likely on the half hour of the time when this person comes in. But they're coming straight to your home. They're coming to your home. I don't. If you guys don't want this person getting in the house, I would suggest don't answer the door. You guys are afraid of this person, fearful of the person. You guys don't trust this person's energy at all. Page of Swords, Queen of Pentacles in reverse, the Five of Pentacles, this person stalks you, this person stalks you outside your home. You guys might be stressed out about it because this person broke your heart or you broke their hearts for that matter. Maybe there was a lot of deception, deceit, and you guys are upset about it. A lot of sword energy, so that's letting me know, Virgos, right away that you guys are suffering mentally from this situation, okay? This person backstabbed you, they hurt you, they betrayed you, they deceived you in some sort of way. Five of Cups, you guys will heal out of it, you guys are upset about it, but... Eventually, you guys will definitely hear from that, heal from that situation, okay? At the bottom of the deck, I got the Emperor card, pardon me. There's going to be an Aries, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, who's going to want to come back towards you, all right, Virgo? This person has gifts to come to give you as well. Maybe you guys are going to be getting inheritance money for that matter as well here, Virgos, okay? Uh, this person kept a lot of secrets from you here, Virgos. Maybe this person's at a distance from you at the same time. But you guys, it's saying here to protect your gifts, Virgos, protect your abundance, to protect Everything that you are will, wishing for yourself, protect that stuff. Like, don't be telling people nothing, all right? Ace of Pentacles, something's going to be coming towards you. Ace of the Ace. <laughs> Cute, Virgos. Something's coming for you guys. I think someone's going to end up getting engaged. I don't know. Someone's going to be getting proposed to. There's going to be an engagement ring coming in for you guys, Virgos. If that is, congratulations. I'm very happy and I'm very proud of you guys, sweeties. All right. There is going to be a Knight of Wands energy. Someone who's taking, who's taking flight to come for you. All right. This person might be at a distance from you here, Virgos. Okay. Seven of Cups. <clears throat> 
Maybe this person painted a lot of illusion for you in the past, though, and you guys stayed quiet about it, and you guys didn't really say a whole lot to this person. Maybe you guys was married to this person, too, before in the past, okay? So, or maybe this person actually wants to be in a relationship. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What did I just see, Virgo? I, did, I didn't see it until just now. The high priestess to the hierophant? No way, Virgos. This is your twin flame. This is the person that you're meant to be with. I'm telling you, okay, Virgo? So, <laughs> You guys might feel like it is a fucking illusion that this person's actually going to be proposing to you, okay? <laughs> this person is going to be speaking the truth to you. You guys are going to know right away that this person is speaking the truth to you, okay, Virgos? You guys are going to know. You might feel like this person speak like creating a lot of illusion or whatever, but they're not. And I feel like whatever it is that they're going to be offering you, they are already planning it behind the scenes. You don't really know much about it, okay? The high priestess to the hierophant here, Virgo, so cute. You guys are, you guys, <laughs> you guys are both like fucking earth angels. <laughs> you guys are like both, you guys are so cute. And oh my God, Virgo, twin flame, soulmate for sure. This is a really deep connection. You guys vibe on the same level. You are of the divinity. You guys are both of the divinity, Virgos. This is very strong connection here. This is awesome. It would be very beautiful if you guys were to actually get married together because now you guys can put your little cutie patootie and then this little cutie patootie and put them together and then you get one cutie patootie. <laughs> so cute, Virgos. Though you guys are both actually very psychic, Virgos. You guys both believe in God. You guys are both earth angels. You guys work with the divinity at the exact same time. You guys both vibe on the exact same frequency level. This is definitely the most powerful Twin flame, soulmate connection I have seen on my spread. Someone from the past, Virgos, Taurus, uh, Gemini, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, sorry, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here, okay? <laughs> there's an Aries, let me see here. Okay, so there's somebody from the past, Virgos, they want to come back towards you, okay? This person sees you as somebody who's very sexy. You guys are coming in as the Queen of Wands energy. They see you as somebody who's so, so fly, Virgos, okay? You guys have this beautiful, passionate, look at this. King of Wands to the Queen of Wands. I'm telling you, Virgos, you guys are counterpart. You guys are the one for each other. It's somebody from your past. They're coming. This person finds you so sexy. They're so attracted to you. They're going to have to come from a distance, but they are coming. Okay? This person has fire in their chart. They have fire. They got like Sagittarius moon or Leo moon or whatever. I don't care. It's fucking fire in their chart that they have. So they could be anything with fire in their chart. All right. Or that could be their sign anyway, for that matter. But they seeing you as somebody who's very beautiful, very sexy, very bomb, Virgos, just bomb. Okay. So this person wants to come back for you, Virgos. They're going to communicate with you here. They are taking flight. All right, Virgos. <laughs> Look at that. 10 to the 10. This person might even have money, Virgos, for that matter. Okay. Also, you guys are counterpart. You guys are actually twin flame connection for sure, okay? You guys might have a little bit of burden because you guys have been separated from this person for quite some time, especially if it was a male. He's a little bit burdened by being in separation from you because he knows that this was a connection that was meant to be, but they ended up letting it go. Ten of Pentacles, this person knows that they can be successful here with you, Virgos. Coming with the Four of Swords to the Nine of Wands, you guys are guarded at the moment, all right, sweeties, because this person's been gone for quite some time. You guys are kind of like in hermit mode, to be honest with you. Ace of Wands to the Sun card, so cute. All right, so this connection's coming back for you here, Virgos. Coming with the Judgment card, this person knows it's time for them to come back for you. Leo, Sag Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, anybody, Gemini, okay? This person wants a new beginning here with you, Virgos. This person has a lot of love with you, love, a lot, a lot of love for you, okay? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, this person has a lot of emotion here for you. They're trying to figure out how they're going to come back to you. So they might be stagnating it a little bit just because they're not sure how they're going to approach you again, all right? So they feel stagnant. This is somebody who has Pisces in their chart too, and or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio for that matter, all right? Maybe somebody here is a little bit jealous of the connection so that maybe there was somebody that got involved before in the past, Virgos, like a friend or a family member or whatever the case is, who they're very close to, who got involved in the connection, told this person, don't go to this, don't go and be with this person. But that's because they was doing it out of jealousy and envy, more envious en energy for sure, okay? And they won. They got what they wanted. This person got what, they got, they got your person to leave you. <laughs> 
five of wands, they put, like, this person, there's going to be some sort of fighting inside the house, okay, Virgo? Someone's going to end up arguing and fighting at the end of the day. These people are, are, um, oh, my God. King of wands to the queen of wands. The high priestess to the hierophant. The queen of cups to the king of cups. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god, Virgos, what the fuck? You guys are so boss. This is so this is so amazing. Twin flame soulmate connection. You guys are meant to actually be with each other. And you guys are gonna get a second chance at love with this person. This person's coming back. Their friends were really jealous of the connection with you. And they told your friend they told your person, no, no, don't go be with Virgo Summon Rising and Venus. Don't go do that. Don't do and your person listened to them because they was trusting them. And then they won. They got what they wanted with the six of wands and they were happy. Now this person is arguing with everybody in their home. They're upset because they feel like they lost out on their soulmate connection here, Virgos. You guys are single. Queen of Cups, some of you guys might be single mothers too. But it's saying here with the Nine of Pentacles that you guys are single from this person now, okay? You guys are focusing on your work. Maybe somebody here is arguing at the workplace here, coming with the Eight of Pentacles to the Five of Wands. There's arguments. There's some sort of argument. Fuck, Virgos. All right? Unraveling of the truth. The truth is going to be coming out, okay? You guys are going to be focusing on your work here, Virgos. You guys are not going to let nothing uh, disturb your peace, okay? You guys know what your worth is and you know what your value is here, too. Unraveling of the truth at the exact same time, okay, cuties? Ace of Cups. Self-love is the best love, and that's how you attract the one that, that you're meant to be with, right, Virgos? Because how are you supposed to love somebody if you can't love yourself? So love yourself first, and then the right one will come towards you, okay? Ace of Cups to the Strength card. You guys are good. This person has a lot of love for you here, Virgos. They see you as someone who's very strong, someone who has very much so control of their emotions as well. You guys are the Empress of the Queen of Cups. Look at that. <laughs> Nothing phases you. You guys are good. You guys don't really care about what other people are thinking or saying, okay? This person's stressed out about you, Virgos, because they want to come back towards you. It could be also a Virgo who is trying to figure out what to do. This person wants to be in an intimate connection here with you as well. Maybe this person hurt you in some sort of way, coming in with the Seven of Swords energy. Maybe this person even manipulated you at times too, but it looks like they want to come back for you, Virgos, coming with the Knight of Cups. Look at that. This person's ready to be... They're ready to be a loving and new type of person for you. Or, Virgos, because I'll read it in two different ways, because I am reading for many Virgos, and it's Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus is. <sighs> no, that's what it is what it is. It, that is. That's exactly what that is, okay? Even though that this person had manipulated you and sabotaged the connection between you and them, and whatever the case is, Virgos, this person's ready to change themselves for the better, all right, that's what I'm picking up. They want to change themselves for the better. They want to be in a very loving type of connection here, Virgos, with you guys. They want to be very sweet, very loving, very faithful, all right? And I think they're going to be coming in very cute. It could be a new lover because a new lover is coming in for you guys just now, Virgos. So maybe after some shit, a new lover is going to pop in and you're going to have to make a decision between two different people. But what I'm thinking is that there's a Virgo here who's reflecting on what it is that they want or how they treated you, and they didn't treat you well. So for that, in order for them to treat you better, they're going to have to change themselves for the better. Knight of Cups to the Page of Wands energy. They're going to do the work to get themselves back in check and to start treating you a lot better than what they did. I do believe that this person feels a lot very shameful for how they treated you. They regret it very much so, Virgos, that they chose their friends over you. And I do see a reconciliation happening. Apologies. If you are doing about to do magic on somebody that you're supposed to supposedly supposed to love, cut that out immediately. You're not supposed to do that. You're gonna get karma for it. And it's gonna be bad karma. <laughs> like, I mean, when I say bad karma, you're gonna feel it. You will absolutely feel it. <laughs> be careful, Virgos, on what it is that you guys are trying to do because God sees everything at the end of the day. And God doesn't have an issue sending Mother Nature to you and serving you that karma. Thanks, cuties. Bye.